Hi guys, good morning, and I hope you all having a very good morning to you, wherever you may be, uh, wherever country that you may be. And this early morning, I just decided to share with you something that definitely for people who are working in Qatar, who are preparing to come in Qatar, definitely what you should know. I decided to take a home by this early morning. Uh, I want to go back to my old company and try to ask for what you call my service certificate. We call it end of service certificate. I never have to lie to anyone before. I was working as a security guard. So after definitely two years, I want to go back and try to see whether they can give me my end of service certificate. We talk about end of service certificate. That is supposed to be given to you after completing a contract with the company. It can be an appreciation. Yes, so some companies definitely tend to give them. Some don't give them depending on how you approach them. I also want to try out. Most of people, most of the people would say that security companies don't give end of service certificate. I want to see exactly. Is it true? Let me try my luck. Let me try my opportunity and see whether they can give me as I tried my opportunity for my NOC and they gave it to me after trying to finish up with all what you call the formalities. Right now, I'm taking a Uber from my current company to go to my old company with this security company to try to ask whether they give me the NOC. And I want to travel with you and see how Qatar looks like in the early morning. It will look at the traffic, we'll look at the scenery, and all, we're going to share it out. I decided to take a Uber. By the way, if you take a Uber, it's quite convenient and very fast. And one thing I like with the Uber here in Qatar, that even if you leave amount of money deposited with your own account, it will stay on your account. So meaning the next ride you'll have with you, it will be discounted. So I decided to take a Uber, and I'm going to share with you uh, and see. Uh, I've got a very good driver. By the way, when you book a Uber and you have a driver taking you wherever you have to go, give a five star. Why not give a five star? Give a five star. It's, it's really very good because they have a very good service for us and they give us something that is really very, very, very good. So I'm going to share with you. We are going to move. I'm going to show you how Qatar looks like in the morning, traffic and how the roads looks like, what you expect, what you see on the traffic, what you see how the drivers get through until I get to my old company and get the certificate. Remember, when I go inside there, it may not be very easy for him to fill him. They may not allow me to fill him because it's not acceptable. But at least when I get the certificate, I definitely I'll have to share with you that I have the certificate and I'm out with you because it's one that I can use it for something else. Okay? So I have with my gentleman, my friend is going to drive me. Hello, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let us go together. Uh, my name is Max, by the way. Yeah, Saban. Uh, Next to me, too. So we are going to move with him. He's going to take me, and definitely we are so going to see talk about how it is all Hope you enjoy it. You may have heard about it in words on maps, but this is how definitely the country looks like. This is an early morning. Pretty, very nice. Pretty, very nice, and very clean country. All driving. We talk about the driving jobs, what you definitely need to know, what you need to understand. Something that you need to talk about this country is the safety itself. Start from where you are and where you go. The safety is pretty, very, very, very good in one way or the other. So this is definitely how the country looks like. The beauty of the country is extremely beautiful in the morning. It gives you whatever you have to say. For those that have not visited the country, definitely, this is what you expect. But remember, there are a lot of opportunities here. But for you to have the opportunity, definitely, you need to definitely, as yourself, you need to discover the opportunity. You need to start looking for the opportunity from driving, from security work. There's what we call indoor search for the work. You definitely need to move indoor and search for that work. Because all these good career opportunities are not going to find you where you're seated. So you have to put in an extra effort for you to find the work. The roaming skyscrapers up in the top of the rope. 
the rolling roads, the cleanness, the green that people used to talk about. I thought it's just a desert country, specifically desert, that you don't have to see any green, but I'm surprised it's one of the countries that has more green compared to even those countries that are naturally with green. You know, slow desertification and the rest. So this is how the country looks like, and these are the roads. So let us move and you try to see how this place looks like and pretty maybe you get to enjoy the place. So we are getting in Doha and we are moving uh, to Doha. We are going to al the uh, side is called al -Kathia. So I also want you to see how this place looks like. So move with me. Remember, I'm using a Uber and I wanted to show you how definitely the roads look like and what you expect. And something, by the way, I need to remember, for people who are coming here as drivers, you need to be a little bit cautious because the highways are, you have to drive at a terrific speed and there's where well you have to be fine if you're driving at a slow speed. So all those rules and all those passions, you need to know them, you need to be fighting with them such that you can be able uh, to have it whole without even accident. This is how the country looks like. This is an early morning. It's just 9 or 2. It pretty looks good. The roads, the cars, the speed at which they go, definitely, you definitely need to know that that is what is permitted by the law. We talked about the driving license, how you have to get the driving license. Yes, there's a lot of also other procedures. You can just check the, the videos that I made um, before about driving and definitely you can get some of those important tips that definitely you need to know. So we are still moving and we are moving until I go to my former company, I see. I need my end of service certificate, which it is entitled, which is by the law, I'm supposed to be getting it. I'm supposed to have it because I completed my contract with the company, I moved to another company, and I'm entitled to it by the law. So let me try out and see whether the law works or whether they can give it to me or there's another procedure I have to finish up. But there's something also I have to remind you. Qatar is full of flyover roads, bridges, uh, I think they're trying to get on the core vision of 2030. So we are moving to al -Katia and we are moving to al -Katia, so we want to see how this place looks like and whether I'll have my certificate with me or they will give it to me or I have to take other formalities. So this is how the roads and the buildings looks like. second try and I think I have it today which was quite very important. I'm with the driver here. It's called Aziz. No, I just like him so much because 
He does everything. He does everything whenever I need him. So it's something very simple. It might look at my new paper, but he's alone. This is the end of service certificate, which can help me do something else, go to other work and do something else. So, hmm. okay. We in Katal, we in Doha, and uh, what do you expect definitely? Jobs at the race. This is what you expect. So, I've got the certificate with you. I'll try to share out how my best trick I had to do, how I had to change, what kind of procedure. I'll definitely share that life story and see how I had to change from this company to this company and how long it took. Was it hard for me? It was easy for me. It's a long, long story. Someone needs to know. But finally, I've got the certificate and I'm crucial out of the company. I think I need to move to a new journey now. I don't have any attachment to a company something else okay so i'll try to share we're in doha we're in Qatar. so i'm also going to try to share with you okay so remember also what i promised you is as i am i'm trying to move around i also want to show you how the country looks like uh especially when it comes to the date daytime what do you expect on the roads what do you expect to see the beauty of the country for those that are planning to come into this country definitely you'll agree with me when it comes to its beauty, I think they've tried to maintain up the beauty and it's looking very good. And um, when you're in the road, you have to follow a lot of things, you have to know a lot of things. So we'll move out the road, we'll try to see how the place looks like. As I'm very happy today because I finally got everything I needed from the camp from the old company, which was a security company. I got it everything. Although it was not very easy as people expect it. Uh, as always people say it's not very easy but I finally got everything and I have it so I'm crucially not even have any attachment to the company and I get out of the company amicably and I get out of the company which is something that uh, is really very 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 good. Doha is an interesting uh, city, Qatar is an interesting country if you get to follow the law if you get to follow the law and you know the reason why you are in this country it's quite very important it's very important because when we are given visas to come to some of these countries it is an opportunity not everyone can get the visa but the opportunity is that how do you use the opportunity which is quite very important use the opportunity by following what we call the law once you follow the law the rest of things will be very easy for you. You will survive. When you look at the standards of living, the cost of living, those ones, we can sometimes try to manage it and live within our means. Yes. But the rest, you just need to follow the law, know what the country wants. They know how you can definitely deal with other people because there are different mild cultures that are in this country. So that is all fine. Okay. And changing jobs, companies from one company to another, Definitely, another kind of advice I would give you is that first need to understand your company you are in. What can they give you, what they cannot give you, what they can offer to you, what they cannot offer to you. To what extent can you have some of these documents at your hand uh, is quite very important. So you find that uh, if we get to consider all this at once, it will help you to plan ahead of you and consequently know that this is within my limit it will be very good for me not within my limit it's not being good for me so it's that's a kind of advice i would definitely uh, kind of try to share out and just give it to you because it's it's all uh, it's all anyone that would wish to have at one moment of time when it comes to driving yes there's a lot of technicalities that you need to follow the roads the traffic and the rest job hunting from one job to another internal recruitments all those happens but how do you discover the opportunity and definitely apart from you discovering that opportunity how definitely do you go ahead to prepare yourself for that which is something that is really very very important we in Qatar you're trying to drive around and try to, to see how the country looks like hope you enjoy and seeing how this place looks like it's pretty very important
right way on the road. But something else I need to remind you when it comes to this country. Traffic signals, road signals, I think they are one that controls the little bit of the flow of the traffic. Everywhere traffic signals. But that does not stop you from getting to what you call the driving job or any job that you feel to have. Is you just need to follow what the country wants and what the country needs. And the roads and the rules that governs every single department, then you move on. are so smooth that you can drive at any speed that you want. Limit that has to be given to you. Something I'm so happy today is that I finally get the certificate to go out to this company. To go out to the company completely so much good that you go when you go out to the company definitely you've done it all. There's nothing, any other attachment that you think you would have from this company anymore that you clearly, physically, practically you've gone out of the company without even having to fight, having to get into the battles, having to get into something which is really very good. So you can advance and move on with your career for something else which is um, really good. So we are taking to Joan Street. Uh, these are some of the hotel, the park, Grand Regions, the park. Uh, we have um, very big hotels here, which are really a bit affordable for anyone who would wish to have stays. We have Kata Youth Hostel, is also very good and very friendly. We have the Avenue, also very good and friendly, and at a very cheap price that you can have. So it's quite comparatively get if you come into this the country. It's also very good that you can have and enjoy. Hope I've tried to share something for you. 
thank you so much for your support. By the way, if it's your first time to come across the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give you all of the updates regarding the jobs and all the opportunities. This is called the Grand Reunion, it's also very good regarding the opportunities and everything that you need to look at. Remember, my name is Max, always giving you the updates. Today, I've been with my driver, is uh, this and it's uh, just giving me the best when it comes to driving. It's really very, very, very good. Thank you so much, Mr. Aziz. Thank, Thank you, you so much for uh, being so kind.